So, engines rev amongst the X30 Junior ranks coming out for their last heat of the day. This is a rather large grid, so forgive me, I'm going to rush through it as much as I can because I've only get, got one lap. Jerome Phillip will start on pole with Oliver Henwood alongside. Row two will be Lucas Romanek and Lewis uh, Johnston Cool. Ben McDowell and Charlie Rippon will be on row three. Row four is Thomas Levin and Kak Pascuza. Row five is Christian Brooks and Drew Davidson. Row six is Jensen Buckingham and Alfie Brooks. Row seven is Kyle Dunford and Benjamin Watts. Austin Byrne and Harvey Ryby start on row eight. Row nine is Charlie Field and Caden McQueen. Alexander Johnston and Reggie Dewey are on row ten. Row eleven is Vishal Patel and Tyler Reed. Row, row twelve, excuse me, is Alicia Barrett and Alfie Moore, row 13 is Thomas Mills and Finley Dunn. Joshua Torpy and Lucas Ellingham are on row 14 and row 15 running up 30 cards of Jude Furnoff and Alex Keynes. And we're ready to go, but there's drama already. That's your pole sitter. That was uh, Jerome Phillip there at the side of the road. So the pole sitter is not going to have taken the start here. It would have effectively been Lucas Romanek, who was first of the pole grid side as there's a false start there, and I was uh, surprised to see the field get underway there. Uh, well, we don't know it's the reason, I suppose, but I was somewhat surprised to see the field get underway there with the pole sitter parked at the side of the road. Now, I thought I saw a cart being slow out of the pit lane. It turned out it was Jerome. So, we will uh, go into a false start procedure. And the carts will form up again. And uh, I'm afraid it won't be Jerome Phillip on pole. It is effectively Romanek there in the 23 who's been gifted effectively a pole position here. So Romanek is on the right hand side of your picture, driver's left. It's still Oliver Henwood alongside though as they get underway. And we restart the race with 10 minutes on the clock. Romanek's going to lead them into turn one. One of the biggest fields, if not the biggest field, I believe, that we have today. Romanek there got taken. What happened there? That, uh, that was Romanek getting taken by both on the inside and the outside as they all work their way through Christmas Corner. Is it all clean through there? Looks pretty good. Who's got to the head of this one? It is the 68, which is Ben McDowell, has got to the head of this field. So I don't know what happened there to Romanek. They just drove round him on uh, Christmas corner something really didn't work the top end wasn't there for Romanek and oh uh, we've got yellows out again uh, to is that another full start that's been called yes it is that is another full start so first time today we've seen two consecutive full starts again we do go immediately again. Ten minutes again on the clock. And away we go. And someone's round at the back. That looks like Alicia Barrett around at the back. And oh, goodness me, that's going to sting if this gets start gets called good. After all that to, uh, to be turned around there. So a lifeline for Lucas Romanek. He's inherited pole position, then had a bad start. Now had another go at it. And now manages to lead them through Ashby Corner. Albeit he's under a lot of pressure from, I think that's Thomas Leban in the 35. It is indeed, and Leban moves to the head of the field. Thomas Leban is through into first place, is he? Yes, I believe so. Unless I've missed someone who's had a, a real jump on the field on this first lap. There is someone who's had a jump on the field this first lap. Let's call them as they come round to be absolutely sure because there's been several things going on. It was Leban who got to the front of it. It was Christian Brooks who we saw having a good move at the end of that as well. So it's Thomas Leban, Christian Brooks, Ben McDowell, Drew Davidson, Caden McQueen. And now there's the 68 of Ben McDowell getting taken by Drew Davidson and I believe Caden McQueen there through Christmas Corner. Yes, indeed. So Drew Davidson and now Caden McQueen goes for a move on Drew Davidson. So as there's a warning for Kak Pascuza, uh, Caden McQueen gets two moves done in pretty much as many corners there and meanwhile further back that looked like Oliver Henwood getting passed by Charlie Rippin perhaps uh, there let's look at this two wide even three wide towards uh, the uh, the boot you can see there um, that looks like Joshua Torpy uh, getting a move done into there took about two carts at once there impressive stuff there Thomas Levin leads Caden McQueen in second Drew Davidson in third Christian Brooks, Ben McDowell, Alfie Brooks, Charlie Rippin. And we're looking here at Reggie Dewey working his way past Charlie Rippin there. So Reggie Dewey 
now up into seventh place. He looks like he's further up the road. At ben, uh, yes, at Ben McDowell versus Alfie Brooks. As they come through the boot section. On to a new lap. Thomas Leban, Caden McQueen, Drew Davidson, Christian Brooks still. Ben McDowell, Alfie Brooks, Dewey now confirmed ahead of Ripping. And Tyler Reeve has got, Tyler Reed, excuse me, has got past both uh, Harvey Rivey and Joshua Torpy. Side by side here, the 94 of Alfie Brooks gets past Ben uh, McDowell. So that's Alfie Brooks now up into fifth place and immediately trying to hound, uh, sorry, yeah, and immediately he'll try and tr get onto turn with Christian Brooks. Reggie Dewey here, battling away as well with Ben McDowell. So I think that's Dewey past McDowell as well. Yep, the 66 now ahead of the 68. So Reggie Dewey. As Thomas Leban's off. Thomas Leban is off. Uh, we have a cut. We have a cut off and it was the leader. The leader is dropping down the order. And there he is, Thomas Leban. I didn't see what happened there on camera, but Leban, our leader, has fallen off the road. So, Caden McQueen inherits the lead. Drama here at Wilton Mill in the X30 Juniors. They're all, there are battles going on, as you can see, throughout the field here. We pick up with Christian Brooks running in third place now, who has uh, Alfie Brooks and Reggie Dewey for close company behind as they all try and chase down Drew Davidson. Uh, for second place Reggie Dewey there trying to have a look in on Christian Brooks who has already been passed by Alfie uh, Brooks so Alfie Brooks I think has now got himself up to third place indeed he has Caden McQueen lead Drew Davidson in second so 1.4 seconds back just a few tenths behind him is Alfie Brooks so there is uh, Drew Davidson in the 45 and then the 94 of Alfie Brooks Christian Brooks in the 82 and Reggie Dewey in the 66 there that's second down to fifth and Dewey goes up the inside of Christian Brooks into Ashby Corner and gets the job done. Nice move there by Reggie Dewey. And Reggie Dewey will now try and get past uh, Alfie Brooks. Purely from a neutral commentator's perspective, he's done me a favour there because he's broken up the two people with the same, the same sounding surname. Uh, so I'm not tripping over myself. But uh, I'm not sure that was at the forefront of his mind. Uh, he'll now try and set about getting himself up into the top three. Caden McQueen leads this one by 1 1.8 seconds. He's setting some very impressive pace in the 45.4s. Drew Davidson running well in second place. Alfie Brooks in third. Reggie Dewey in fourth. Christian Brooks fifth. Ben McDowell in sixth. Then it, Tyler Reed has just got past Charlie Rippon. Uh, Harvey Reeby in ninth. And Joshua Torpy rounds out your top ten. We are now watching Ben McDowell pressuring Christian Brooks as well as Charlie Rippin who I think has got back past Tyler Reed, and Charlie Rippin there has gone past uh, Ben McDowell as well. But Reed is fighting back. I know that's Harvey Reeby, isn't it? Getting involved. No, sorry, it is the 21. So it's Tyler Reed in sixth, Charlie Rippin in seventh, eighth for Harvey Reeby and Ben McDowell. It was Reeby we saw going through. Meanwhile, in the battle here, this is Reggie Dewey getting past Drew Davidson, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Reggie Dewey now up into second place has got the job done. And now Reggie Dewey will try and set his sights on reeling in Caden McQueen if he possibly can, leaving Drew Davidson to have the attentions of Alfie Brooks in the 94. It's a nice move that by Reggie Dewey. Steadily, slowly and steadily working his way up through the top 10 is Dewey. cautious of that final corner curbing new for this week at Wilton Mill McQueen Dewey Davidson Alfie Brooks and Christian Brooks are your top five then it's Tyler Reed Charlie Ribbit Rippin Harvey Reby, Ben McDowell and Joshua Torpy for your top ten further down the order Alicia Barrett after a spin at the start is slowly working her way up she just got up to 14th place getting past Jude Fernerhoff and Charlie Field and Alex Keynes has just taken Charlie Field as well actually so it's all changed in amongst the teen positions we're sticking with Reggie Dewey at the moment what pace can this young man set now that he's got himself up to second place whatever pace he's setting he's taking Drew Davidson with him in the 45 
Davidson fancies his second place spot back and also Alfie Brooks is following through. Christian Brooks and Tyler Reid now beginning to battle behind them. There they are going in now. And then comes those three carts of Harvey Reby, Rip, Charlie Rippin and Ben McDowell. Reby's just got past Rippin actually for seventh place. Two and three quarter minutes to go, then plus a lap. Plenty of racing still to be done here. We're with Christian Brooks and Tyler Reed in the 82 and the 27, battling through Wilkins and then into Oziers. Cut back to Reggie Dewey in second place. Drew Davidson on the tail. Oh, and there's a wheel. There's another, <laughs> there's another errant wheel there. Now, who's that from? It's definitely from a cart because it has... It's not just a tyre wall tyre. Who is that who's dropping down? Someone out there has lost a wheel. And I'm wondering if it's Carl Dumford. He's just dropped down several positions. The marshal's recovering it. They've lost, <laughs> they've lost more than just a wheel. Isn't that a break? There's a brake disc or something there. It's, uh, I think it might be Jensen Buckingham. I think it might be Jensen Buckingham. He's not gone through the first sector. I'll check to see who's circulating. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably Jensen Buckingham in that one. Number 55. Yellow flags out for this part of the circuit. And that means all the way up the hill towards Christmas Corner. Three seconds the gap that Caden McQueen has in hand over the rest of the field. Here is the sharp end of that rest of the field though. Here's Reggie Dewey still with Drew Davidson and Alfie Brooks for company. Behind them, still the battle going on between Tyler Reed and Christian Brooks. It is indeed Jensen Buckingham who's up there, can see there uh, from timing. So, dramatic way to exit the race for Jensen Buckingham. There he is, stood at the uh, edge of the Marshall Post. Lucas Ellingham has just got past Benjamin Watts for 11th place further down the order. We've got less than 30 seconds now until the clock will hit zero. So, one would imagine. And it will depend actually quite on when Caden McQueen finishes this lap. But I'd have thought that he would uh, do just one more after this. This is Harvey Reby in seventh place, leading Charlie Rippon and Ben McDowell. This is a battle that's been raging for the last few laps. And Reby under quite a bit of pressure now from Charlie Rippon. It's not the last lap. We'll have this lap plus another. Which is great news if you're someone chasing down a position. It means you've got more time. And that was a lovely move into oblivion. Uh, I just saw. I'm trying to work out who that would have been, actually. As we follow this seventh place battle. Reby under pressure from Rippin and McDowell. Caden McQueen will be coming around now to start the last lap. Indeed, he's just done that. So on the last lap now, Reggie Dewey and Drew Davidson cross the line. I don't think either of them are close enough to each other to seriously challenge each other on this lap, lap, last lap. No, you can see the gap there. Dewey, Davidson, Alfie Brooks then behind them also not quite close enough to challenge. Tyler Reed and Christian Brooks have been quite close for the last few laps, but I think no, Reed will have enough to hold on to it. So the closest battle is going to be the Reby, uh, Rippin and McDowell battle. Caden McQueen is just up the road from this young man, Reggie Dewey. And McQueen will be rounding the last corners now to cross the finish line. There he comes. Caden McQueen wins heat number three in the X30 Juniors. Reggie Dewey will cross the line in second. Third will be Drew Davidson. Alfie Brooks in fourth. Fifth for Tyler Reed and sixth for Christian Brooks. How does it finish for seventh place? It's as they were. Reby, Rippin and McDowell. Lucas Ellingham rounds out your top ten. Alicia Barrett recovers well from her spin right at the very start of this race for 11th place. Jude Fernerhoff gets Alex Keynes on the last lap for 12th. 
14th is Josh Torpy, 15th for Benjamin Watt, Carl Dunford is 16th, 17th for Thomas Mills, then it's Alexander Johnson, Louis Johnson Cool, Cat Pascuza in 20th, Lucas Romanek finishes 21st, 22nd for Oliver Henwood, Alfie Moore finishes 23rd, 24th for Charlie Field, Finley Dunn finishes 25th, but uh, and Austin Byrne is classified 26th, but there was some drama there, there were some drivers moving around on that last lap, so I wonder if there was some drama that befell them there. Vishal Patel, we didn't see what happened to him, but um, finished three laps down, had some kind of issue out there. Jensen Buckingham um, looks to have uh, dramatically lost a wheel, and Thomas Levin also dramatically, we saw pulling to the side of the road from the lead of the race. He'll be disappointed and wondering. Uh, it was definitely a case of what might have been for him.